24 RBS North Trail, 5,070 pounds here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is kind of like Heartland's take on the Keystone Passport, which is the uh, the best-selling trailer in this class. Uh, this is their uh, thing that goes after that. Um, not a bad trailer by any means. I'm, I'm not trying to knock it. Um, it's a uh, been well kept. It's a great little couples camp and floor plan at 5,070 pounds. You're going to find it quite towable. I do like the big wide front storage on here, and uh, this is nicely equipped. Power awning, power tongue jack, but also four corner power stabilizers. This does have an enclosed uh, forced air heated underbelly. It's uh, very big into the lamination of this product. It's an uh, aluminum frame product, laminated walls, floor, even roof. Um, it should tow nicely down the road on these wide stance stability axles that you see down here. You see how they're kind of spread further apart. What that's doing for you is it's kind of like if you, if you put your feet shoulder width apart and somebody pushes you sideways, you have stability. But if you put your feet side by side and somebody pushes you sideways, you're going to take a tumble. I, oh, I, I didn't realize until I passed through this. This has the uh, old traditional Heartland pull-out bumper. There's a, a couple little pins that you pull here. And the whole bumper can extend about two and a half feet. And uh, it's got a little post you can use as a bike rack, a cargo tray, kind of anything, everything you need it to be. It does whatever you need it to do. Something I do like, a good attention to detail feature they had at the design level is that um, awning clearly covers both entry doors. So on a kind of drizzly day, you can hop in and out without worrying about like, there's always that little bit of spritz of water that'll like hit the, you know, interior corner of the doors. You're not really going to get a lot of that here because of that. This is uh, an above floor slide out and what that means to you in English is that this is a carpetless camper so super easy to clean and that uh, long slide there gives you lots of room to walk past each other you're not gonna have to do the the travel trailer shuffle sideways to get past each other um, in years past we carried uh, what was called the caliber the upgraded version of this so we're pretty darn familiar with it I was around at that time um, neat little things Heartland did here is they uh, they have a uh, free floating table now it can lock against the wall, which is why you see how this one leg is buckled in and not actually touching the floor because it can uh, uh, still mount against the sidewall. What I always liked about that as a big guy with long legs is it left me more wide open leg room down there without, you know, bashing my knees against stuff. And I always like how the picnic table can flow outside. You can, uh, well, pardon me, you can use outside like a picnic table. Um, <clears throat> We have centralized air up in the ceiling, and uh, they didn't put heat ducts in the floor. And this is kind of one of those things that some people like it, some people don't. The argument here is that if there's a heat duct in the floor and you step on it, one, you could break it, and two, it can get dirty and it's hard to clean. Whereas, um, you know, cabinet ducted heating, um, some people say it may not be as efficient, but it's also foolproof. So it's a 50-50 thing. You form your own opinion. You know, I don't think that either is incorrect. It's just a matter of which you prefer. Looks like all original electronics are present, and I like the position of this TV because, one, it can turn, so it can face the dinette, the kitchen, the sofa, it can face the bedroom, and the cutaway design of it when it turns makes the RV feel more open and spacious, and that's something that I really enjoy, too. I, I will give them credit. They did some nice-looking trim work in here. They gave it some good eye candy in this little camper, for sure. Um, camper queen, walk around bed, side stands, that lets pretty rank and file front end here, but that's good. That means that they didn't shortcut anything. They did all the things that matter. Um, and, uh, but what, what more could you want? I'm going to guess somebody needed a little help getting out of bed every now and then, because that's definitely not a factory component that they put in there. Your seating looks like it's in really good shape. I, I don't see where that's broke down at all. So the folks were not, you know, heavy on the seats in a sense. Uh, solid surface countertops upgrade. That gives you a waterproof countertop. That means that they can upgrade to an undermounted sink, kind of like a, a nice fifth wheel, nice stainless sink here. Um, they, what I do like, though, is that they actually kept the sink a little more shallow than a super big fifth wheel sink. So you actually have good cabinet space below that. And that extra kitchen window right there, Man, that is everything. It makes this RV, that one difference right there, makes this RV feel so much bigger, more open, plus it gives you that that necessary cross breeze because you don't always want to run the AC all the time every single day. Um, this is a, uh, uh, like I said, a, a copy of a pretty popular Passport floor plan, the 2510 RV, and uh, you see that big rear closet 
and that uh, big window right there by the entry door with a handy little charge station, perfect for phones. This is an excellent feature that I'm glad they brought over to this trailer. Um, nice thing that they did put in here though is nice hidden hinge cabinets. So the cabinetry in this just has some real good action still. These are all adjustable shelves so you can convert that pantry to however, whatever you need. And the bathroom, actually, pretty darn nice. Porcelain foot flush stool, lots of leg and foot room in here. You can actually, you know, you don't have to do some twist them up, uh, uh, calico cab bathroom yoga. Yeah, they, somebody definitely needed help getting up and down every now and then. There's another aftermarket handle they installed. That's that's cool though. I, I like that they put those in. They did a nice job. Everything on that's real stable looking. There's another one right there. Um, the uh, shower, a fifth wheel shower and a little travel trailer ultralight's a nice touch too. So overall, pretty impressed. Nice coach. Um, obviously being pre-owned and a couple years old, you're, you're not worrying about any of the... Uh, like scary depreciation stuff you're just getting good value on the coach it's gone through the worst of that cycle so give us a call 800-256-5196 we do financing we love trades obviously we have trucks hitching pieces parts that's why we have this whole service center back here so we can do hitching and brake controls and anything you need guys whatever you need we can do it and i, I actually don't even care what you have on trade if you got a goat and three bags of rice partner we're in business so take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone